drop it like it's hot. How are we doing everyone? It's Kev Ashford here for Flying Pig United Channel. He's asked me back on. What an absolute clown he is, eh? The pig and the piglets, whatever. They've asked me back on, so here I am. United on the back of two good wins since I last spoke to you on this channel. Uh, we've cruised on against Anderlecht. I did think we were going to make a total tits up of that, a total balls up. I thought it was going to be one of them games again where we just battered him and basically went out. But we didn't and Rashford got his goal late on, superb goal. And then on to the Burnley match. Uh, obviously touching back on to the Anderlet match, we've lost Marcus Rojo, which is going to be a huge blow. And I honestly do think that Rojo is more of a blow considering at the back, the you know, the, the defensively the shape that we've got, than losing Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And I know a lot of people might disagree, but... My argument is, up front, we're blessed with talent. And we've got players trying to prove themselves. We've got Martial, Rashford, Mkhitaryan. All these players can do a job in a forward three. The thing that interests me now is that Zlatan, that could be his last game for Man United. We, we might never see him in a red shirt. He's got a cruciate knee injury. And to try and recover from that at the age of 35, knocking on 36, it's going to prove very difficult for him. And he could have played his last game. I don't know what you lot think, get in on the comments and that. But for me, it makes it very, very interesting. And I'm not certainly not celebrating the fact that Zlatan's injured or anything. I'm gutted for him. But it does give a chance to the likes of Martial, who took his chance brilliantly against Burnley. And the way that we counter-attacked, the way we took the ball out, of the, he took the ball out in his own half. Joey Barton couldn't get ne anywhere near him. He's a knobhead. Basically, Martial runs down the pitch, 1-2 of Herrera, bang, it's in. Seven seconds before that, we're on the edge of our own box, defending a corner or whatever. That is the kind of football that we want to see at Old Trafford. When people harp on about what is the, uh, the United way, the United way, that is it. That football, it's devastating football, on the break, on the counter-attack. Like in 2008, one of the best United teams I've ever seen. We had Ronaldo, Tevez, you know, Rooney, who was in like his prime, could still get around the pitch and that, score goals. We scored a goal like that against Arsenal in the Champions League, because at the semi final, when uh, Ronaldo set off on his run, a couple of seconds later, we're up the other end, boom, it's in there, do you know what I mean? And that's the football we want to see. Next up is the Derby Thursday. It's a huge game. We really need. To the worst thing we could do is lose the game, obviously. A point wouldn't be too bad because at least City don't, you know, get away from us and things are as as you were. But with Liverpool getting beat against uh, Crystal Palace, <laughs> uh, we've got a proper chance to make, make ground up here. And I think we will win against City, I really do. They're on the back of a, a bad defeat in the semi-final. Went to extra time. This, uh, Silver's going to be missing. Uh, could be. He went out injured. Uh, Aguero limped off as well. And you can get at City. Defensively, they are wank. And United have the players there. Uh, Martial was taken off against Burnley. Wrap him in cotton wool. Raring to go. Play him up top. Get Rashford in there. Get Mkhitaryan. Support him with that pace. And we will terrorise Nobeds like Otamendi, cliche. You know, who are these guys even? You know, I think John Stones is injured, which is a shame because he's really shit and they could have got at him. Listen, enjoy the match. Let me know in the comments what you think the outcome of Thursday night's game, the Manchester Derby, will be. Let me know what you think about my comments on Zlatan. Am I being a bit unfair? Uh, is Zlatan a player that we really needed for the running? He's scored a hell of a lot of goals this season. I'm not criticising him for that, but he's missed a hell of a lot of chances as well. And if we'd have had somebody like Griezmann up top, could have probably scored about 60 goals this season or something. Hmm. Anyway, enjoy the game. Enjoy the rest of your week, whatever you're doing. Uh, I hope you're happy to see me back on this channel. Hopefully get back on more. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to The Pig, uh, Flying Pig United. You can subscribe to me, Kevin Ashford 7, YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, what else, Tinder, no, not Tinder, you know, all, all, yeah, all the social media things apart from the last one, anyway, enjoy your week, uh, yeah, that's it, signing off, that'll do.